Hello, this is Karen Mahoney, Creative Memories Advisor. I'm here to show you how to make the Jumbo Circle umbrella. Here's an example that I had made for a baby shower page um, to put the invite on. It's the baby shower hasn't happened yet, so I have no photos on it yet, but it was perfect for that. It's great for a lot of different things, tropical pictures, beach pictures, baby pictures, you can have your umbrella up or you can have your umbrella upside down. Totally up to you how you want to do it. So I'm going to put this aside. This is what you're going to need. You're going to need your 13 inch mat, the jumbo custom cutting system circle, the largest of the circle um, templates from the circles, your red blade, your blue blade, your repositionable adhesive and a 12 by six piece of double-sided designer paper. The one I chose is from the Little Dreamer collection. So I'll move this out of the way. Uh, just to let you know, I learned how to do this from a Creative Memories Japan advisor. So thank you to her. She had told me that it was taught to them by Creative Memories Japan home office. I don't really know where it originated, but that's where I had gotten this. So I figured I'd show everybody how to do it. So you wanna take your six by 12 piece of designer paper and you wanna line it up at the top of your mat because you need the measurements to do this right. It's really important. We're gonna need the red blade first and you're gonna need your large circle. Now the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put this in the center and you're gonna put it an inch and a half from the bottom. So you're gonna put your template right up an inch and a half from here and center it in the mat as best as possible. So I'm just kind of centering it. It doesn't have to be exact, just center it as much as possible. So that will be right where you want it. You're gonna take your red blade and you're gonna put the little teeth in the track. Make sure it's in there correctly. And you're gonna carefully just cut. Okay. You can take that piece off. Not gonna need it. You can save it for scraps. Then you're gonna take the same circle, and you're gonna put it at one inch. So it's coming down a half an inch. You wanna move it over so when you cut, you're gonna cut right on the corner right here. So make sure this is lined up. If it ever moves a little, it's okay. You can just line it back up. Put this at one inch. I've, I'm gonna show a little bit of that corner because I know the, uh, the blade doesn't cut right on it exact and I'm gonna go around perfect again this moved a little that's okay you're gonna do the same thing on the other side put it at one inch okay make sure this is centered still We're now done with this. We're gonna take our jumbo circle. Again, make sure this is lined up at the top. Okay. And you wanna put your jumbo circle so it's right in the center. You wanna line it up, make sure it's in the center there. And you wanna bring it to the top as much as possible so you can cut around, but not cut off of the paper because you don't want to have a flat top. You want to have a curved top and you can see the space is, you're going to use your blue blade. The space is larger on this. So you really want to make sure you're going to have space. Even if you want to, you can take your um, blue blade, put it in the track 
and just make sure without pressing down that it is going to, it's going to clear the top. Okay, so that's going to clear my top. So I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to center it. Okay. And I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut down like that. And I like to take my time cutting this so it doesn't move on me. There you go. You want to leave it right where it is. You can take your scrap off. You're then going to take your red blade because you want this to stay in the center because right where the six inches is, is the center. So you're going to take your jumbo circle. You're going to make it so it cuts at the six inches and then right where the point is right here. Okay, it can be a little tricky and you may want to just put your blade in the track, make sure it's your red one and kind of slide it to see where it's gonna cut, just to make sure it's where you want it to cut. Okay, and cut. All right, I'm gonna move this out of the way because I'm now gonna move this and do the exact same thing to the other side. Trying not to, at this point if it's moved, it's not a big deal because now you're just following the points. And that's all of your cuts. So now what you do, you have three pieces of your umbrella all done. So all you have to do now, of course it's totally up to you, is you take your centerpiece and you flip it. And now you have an umbrella. Of course you can choose to, I could, have, I could choose to have my clouds here and then just flip the two sides if I wanted to as well. But I think I'm, I kind of like the stripes in the center. Okay, so how to finish our umbrella. I'm just gonna take a piece of paper here. And you have a couple of choices here. Actually, you have lots of choices. When you put your umbrella together, you can butt it up all together like that. Or if you want to, you just separate them a little bit and that gives you that, that negative space, gives you kind of like an outline on your umbrella. You can choose to put your umbrella straight or you can kind of kitty corner it if you want. And then all you have to do, once you have that taped down, all you need to do is cut a piece for the umbrella handle. I just happen to cut this piece of paper um, you can choose how long or how short you want it to be. I'm just doing this just to show you. You could have it so it sticks out at the top and that gives you the top of the umbrella. You can choose to, as in my example, I cut the little bow. So if this was like a baby shower, it'd be cute to put the little bow at the top. Certainly don't have to. You could use punches like this to put at the top. You can put a big one at the top, uh, the smaller one at the top, and the bigger one at the bottom with a handle. You can see on this one, I kind of fussy cutted a um, curved handle. And fussy cut just means I took scissors and cut it. I didn't use anything special to make it. I do have another example I have not put together yet. I'll show you what you can do with this one is let's see is this is a piece this is a piece of um, this all of this paper is from the vitamin C collection you could put this together you can put your little handle in there and then with the the old school circles I cut a little circle for the bottom handle and one for the top. So you could do something as simple as that. You don't have to get all fancy. So that's just um, some examples for you. I did make a page where I made a smaller one. I don't have the exact measurements, but I basically just shrunk it down by a couple inches and used smaller circles 
from the custom cutting system and I made this page. Um, you can see it's just a smaller umbrella. I didn't want it to take up as much room on, on there, but, but that's it. I hope uh, you have fun making this. Thank you.